Shifting focus to the United Kingdom now. Yesterday on this show, we told you about the sitting Tory MP who resigned after being embroiled in a lobbying scandal. Scott Benton's resignation will make UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak face another tough by-election. But Sunak's worries seem to have no end. While he must be wrapping his head around this, he was also forced to reshuffle his cabinet. This as two of his ministers quit the government on Tuesday. In an unexpected decision, Robert Halfon resigned as UK's Education Minister, while James Yappy stepped down as Armed Forces Minister. Yappy had earlier stated his intentions of exiting Parliament ahead of elections. So when these senior ministers resigned, Sunak was forced to reshuffle his team. And it happened just a day ahead of parliamentary break for Easter recess. Leo Docherty will now assume the position of Armed Forces Minister and Luke Hall will be the Education Minister. While both the ministers have assured their commitment to Sunak, reports suggest that Armed Forces Minister Hyapi was not happy with Conservative leaders' decisions, including concerns around military spending. The two ministers now join the growing number of Conservative MPs who are stepping down from the Parliament. As of now, the total tally of MPs quitting ahead of elections stands at a whopping 98. Out of which, Conservatives hold the overwhelming majority with 63 MPs who have quit so far. The list includes high-profile members such as former Prime Minister Theresa May and former party chairperson Sir Brandon Lewis. Sunak is facing challenges to keep the Tories united behind him for the upcoming polls. But under him, it seems Tories are most divided than ever. While key players in his team are quitting, many want him to be replaced. And his party is trailing Labour's in opinion polls. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.